They think it's a joke. 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 This is what democracy looks like. So today, America does remember the hundreds of men used in research without their knowledge and consent. We remember them and their family members, men who were poor and African-American, without resources and with few alternatives. They believed they had found hope when they were offered free medical care by the United States Public Health Service. They were betrayed. Medical people are supposed to help when we need care. But even once a cure was discovered, they were denied help and they were lied to by their government. Our government is supposed to protect the rights of its citizens. Their rights were trampled upon. Forty years, hundreds of men betrayed, along with their wives and children, no power on earth can give you back the lives lost, the pain suffered, the years of internal torment and anguish. What was done cannot be undone, but we can end the silence. We can stop turning our heads away. We can look at you in the eye and finally say on behalf of the American people, what the United States government did was shameful, and I am sorry. Well, first of all, it's, it's no, uh, it is not surprising to me that, um, that in the history of this country that there has been a concerted effort uh, to um, uh, disable and, and suppress um, the, the the black community, uh, whether it be in, in every arena, and so and the med and so the medical field is really uh, uh, not not excluded from that. Uh, but uh, we are we are a resilient people, and I do believe that uh, uh, in the old adage of the old song, we shall overcome. <laughs>